My name is Janet Petitpierre. I'm a member of the uh, atelier here in Geneva. We do many different kinds of printing. Mine is photographer, which I really enjoy being a photographer. And I've taken many courses here. It's been wonderful. People here are wonderful. When a photo is printed on photo paper, the ink lies on top of the paper. When I make a photographer, the paper absorbs the ink. The image in a photograph has a strong feeling of richness and depth that the photo paper doesn't have. I took an image at the Chardin Botanique here in Geneva of some leaves in a pond. The camera that I use is a Canon 7D Mark II. From the photo I took, I put it into uh, Photoshop and I made four separate channels, created four separate films. Okay, we've made four films in Photoshop. Uh, the system is called CMYK. To find the color in Charbonnel, because it's not called CMYK, it's an ink system. So I chose the colors first by making a swatch, and then I chose for cyan, blue turquoise. For the uh, magenta, I chose a violet with a little bit of red. And for the yellow, it was a um, jaune citron. And for the black, it's a Payne's gray. I mixed with charbon. I like a soft black. It's important to print in the order of CMYK. And my image is a photographic image and I want it to look like the photograph, so it's really important to follow that system of what color goes after. Now we are going to develop a solar plate with the film. And that's a solar plate. It comes like that. After that is to put some powder on it. And this keeps it from sticking to the plate. It's kind of baby powder, kind of. Now, on the exposure unit, we have um, what is called an aqua tint screen. The emulsion side up, take the solar plate and put it down, emulsion side down. This will create a screen on your solar plate so that your image can develop, can adhere to it. For the exposure unit, I need a string that takes the vacuum, and then we have vacuum. And for our exposure unit at this atelier, we put a nice to walk on top. And the timing for this is one minute for that. So I'm going to hit the UV light. You can see it come out. When you see it, you hit the timer for one minute. Vacuum off. Let go of the, this off. Take my image. So I want the exposure side to be up. The plate will go on like this. This comes down and this goes on. So it's going to be 120 UV. I 
shouldn't be too cold, it should just be kind of neutral. Take off the film. So, take the plate and put it in the water. Like that. And just let it sit to start. Now that goes for one minute in the water. That goes off and then there's some kind of residue left from the film, so you have to clean that off with a soft cotton. Put that running in the water. Here to my board. Soap. Then I take the vinegar. And this stops, vinegar stops the etching process. So right now I'm stopping the whole etching process with the vinegar. I'll rinse it one more time. Next I go to the air hose really quickly. Okay, that was good. And then you go to a little bit warmer process with the hair dryer. Hot. And you can see the image is there. I'm gonna put a piece of paper towel here because the one thing you don't want to do at this point is get any water on it because that will make a mark. So very slow. I'm just going to leave it here for a little while. And right now it's sticky, but the more we heat it up, the more the plate will cure and become very, very hard so that we can put ink on it. I'm going to turn on the dryer and this will get really hot. I'm going to keep it a little bit open because it does get very hot. I leave it there. It's over. So I'll leave it there for another 15 minutes with the UV light on. So now I'm going to ink the magenta plate. I'm using the magenta ink with a little bit of lamp oil. That's the plate I put the ink on. And bring it down close to the edge so that I avoid making too much of a mess and getting the back of the plate dirty, which is always difficult later. I bring it just to the edge. And I'm using a scraper you can buy at the uh, a paint store. They're great. Take some of it off, and then I just clip it. So you're bringing the ink all the way to the edges. Okay, so it's completely covered at this point. Of course, everybody has their method of inking. I like to keep it as clean as possible. And now I take uh, the tarlatan. And to start with, you want to take the ink off and polish at the same time. But the first part is just getting the ink off. You want a surface that's clean, and then you want to pat it down so you get this nice patting, and then you just start taking the ink off in circles with it. And slowly the image starts to come up again. And you do that two or three times. Now you're starting to slowly polish. Okay, so there's not much ink left. Get a clean side. This board has a magnetic surface, so that's kind of handy. And then you can use various materials to polish. Would be telephone book pages and uh, tissue paper. But you can use um, all kinds of things, anything that's kind of soft. Now I go into using the uh, telephone book pages, which work really well for taking the last bit of ink off. And pretty soon there'll be no more telephone books, so I don't know what we'll use. So that's, it's when the ink starts to get very, very light that you can stop. I'm going to try the papier swap. How it shines. I'm going to stop there. And then I'm going to take some kind of a rag to wipe the edges two, three times, and we're done. 
That goes over here with the rest of the plates. Powder. You just wipe it an edge of the grease off so it doesn't stick to the paper. That's the yellow. Gets the grease. Okay. Say two. Onto a sheet of paper that goes under the plastic. As you see, there's a plastic that protects the press. Underneath is a guide for the paper and the plate. So I know exactly where everything goes when I start to print. Something I like to do is I put a mark, a special mark, on the back of each plate that put my plate down. I simply connect the two still. Let's tighten it up, not too tight, so I can't move it, but it, just when it stops and I can't pull it anymore. And now I will put the blanket on, make sure it's smooth, and that's ready to go. Just leave it a little bit, it'll settle in, and then you can roll it. It'll be all right. Okay, so there's that one. Paper is very dry. In between cakes, it dries out so quick. I don't know. It looks okay to me. Could be off. Who knows? Pas mal. We did it. <laughs> it's a killer. <laughs> but I'm happy. It's good. <laughs> In fact, it really looks good, too. The registration is perfect. You could hardly see. There's several little problems. After a, you print this, it goes into something called restoration. Restoration is fixing little problems. I have a chip on the plate, so I can see that there's a difference here in color. There's something happening there. I can fix it there. A little bit there, just one teeny spot. Otherwise, it's perfect. Yeah.